Thyroids. SS is a type two very important question from trigonometry topic. Of course, trigonometry will have so many topics, but in this particular trigonometry topic, we have heights and distance subtopic. Very important. So, compulsory expected models, or, I mean questions in our examination. SS is a type two. So, that's why uh, read the question first, understand it properly. According to the given situation, you can give the answer. Sure. Within fraction of seconds. That's my intention. Ready, guys. We need to understand the question properly first. Okay. Uh, before going to that, whenever we are in trigonometry, we should have tri triangle. Which one it is? 90% right angle triangle only. Right angle triangle properties, not properties, ratios. For an example, whenever we are right angle triangle, opposite side will be there, adjacent will be there, and hypotenuse will be there, right? Yes or no? Opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. So we should have a relations between the uh, sides. For an example, if we go for sine theta, with respect to angle, with respect to angle, we need to go the ratio concept of sides. For an example, I need to go for opposite side. Opposite side by hypotenuse will be there. That is nothing but sine theta with respect to angle. Sine theta. So simply saying, the triangle triangle situation will be dead by uh, sine theta, cos theta, tan theta concepts with respect to angles. That's it. Nothing is there. Okay. Fine. Uh, if I go for the question first, observe it clearly. The angle of elevation of an aeroplane from point on the ground is 60 degrees. Observe the question first. The angle of elevation of an aeroplane from a point on the ground is 60 degrees. Okay. If I observe a particular aeroplane from the ground, it may be 60 degrees angle, right? It is making 60 degrees angle. So what? No problem with that. Okay. Let us know that this is the point. Point on the ground. Let us know that the point is A. Point A is the point on the ground. I mean, uh, on the particular ground, we have point A. Okay. From this point, if I observe a particular aeroplane on the sky, it will, uh, what is the question here? From the point on the ground is 60 degrees angle. The angle of elevation of an aeroplane from the point A is what? Let us assume that this is aeroplane. It can be aeroplane, right? So what is the angle we are getting from the ground? From the ground, it is 60 degrees angle. Okay, fine. From the ground, the aeroplane will be 60 degrees angle. Okay, better to draw a perpendicular line for our comfort only. Why? Because we, we need to form a right angle triangle, right? To utilize trigonometry properties, to utilize trigonometry properties, we need to form a right angle triangle, S or no. That's why I need to draw a perpendicular line towards ground. Yes, it can be right angle triangle. This point can be taken as what? Aeroplane. B can be what? Aeroplane. Right. A can be what? The point of observation from the ground. Clear cut story. Right. Uh, after the bottom, after uh, flying for 30 seconds. Okay, fine. It is flying 30 seconds. The angle of elevation changes to 30 degrees. What is the reason to decrease the angle? Why? Because if the point is at very near to us, the angle will be more, right? If the uh, particular aeroplane is so far away, angle will be decreased. Yes or no? That's why the angle is becoming, the angle is becoming, if it is flying 30 seconds, if it is flying 30 seconds, of course, you will be in straight line motion only, don't confuse. Okay. 30, 30 seconds time is there. In this 30 seconds, the point is changed to C. That can be replaced now. If I observe from the same point, from the same point, it will take only degrees angle. The angle can be 30 degrees angle. Okay, fine. Again, I need to draw a perpendicular line to form a right angle triangle. I mean, right angle. Right angle triangle we want, right? Of course. If I draw a line like this, it can be right angle triangle. Uh, let us know these points. Very important. A, B, C, gun. It can be D. It can be E. For our comfort only. Don't confuse. No. Okay? Very easy concept. I uh, have a small doubt here. Observe properly. If I use uh, triangle B, D, A. B, D, A is nothing but 60 degrees angle, right? From the beginning. 60 degrees angle will be there. Yes or no? Yes. 60 degrees angle is there. Need not work. Then what about uh, angle A, C, E? It will be 30 degrees only, right? But I need to go for the speed of what is the question is asking actually. The angle of gravitation changes to 30 degrees. If the aeroplane is flying, okay, right? 4500 meters. Then what is the speed? 4500 4, 4, meters height is nothing but from the ground you observe, right? Logically, if you observe it properly, don't confuse. The opposite side can be what here? 4500. They are also same story. Why? Because it will be in straight line motion. Don't confuse. It can be 4500 only. Same concept. 4500 is nothing but the opposite sides of these two triangles. Okay. Triangle A, B, D will have 60 degrees angle. Uh, triangle A, C, E will have same 30 degrees angle. Now we need to go for the general properties. If I observe the first triangle, what is that triangle? Don't confuse. Triangle B, D, A. 
What is angle by 60 degrees, right? The starting point was 60 degrees. I need to observe this particular length. Why? Because I want this particular length only. I don't want this length. I want this length only. Length only. That's why I can go for the first triangle. If I use tan theta properties, uh, tan 60 is equal to what? Tan 60 is equal to opposite side 450 by horizontal x. 450 by x. What is tan 60 value? Root 3. Okay, then what is x value? Root 3 is equal to 4500, right? 4500 by x will be there. x is equal to, x is equal to, don't confuse, x is equal to, it will be here, it will be 4500 by root 3. We got the distance between d and a. But unfortunately, I don't want d and a distance, right? I don't want d and a distance. Actually, what we want? I want the distance between c and b. Why? Because it is covering particular distance in 30 seconds. That's why I want that particular distance only. Why? Because I need to find the speed of the aeroplane only, right? I have to find the speed of the aeroplane. That's why I need to find the exact distance for the aeroplane. That's it. So, logically, if you observe BC, opposite side can be same, right? D. But if I assume this particular triangle, particular triangle, this will be, this will be the particular distance. If I go for C, E, A, observe it here, C, E, A. If I observe C, E, A, C, E, A, in this will the opposite side is common, right? 4, 4, 4, 4, 5, common, side is there. Then what about the distance? It will be less than that, Y. I want Y only. Y is nothing but C, B. C, B is nothing but E, D. But unfortunately, if you utilize this C, E, A triangle, the opposite side can be 4, 5, 5 only. But adjacent side can be what? X plus Y, right? Yes sir, no. Will have sum of two splits. I mean, not splits, sum of two distances. Y and X will be there for the bigger triangle. Yes sir. That's why after getting the adjacent side of E, A, we will be in X. Why will we be in X value, right? Make it simple. Don't make it as complicated. Come again, come again. If I choose A, C, E triangle, below the adjacent side is opposed. Of course, opposite side will be 4,500 only. But adjacent side becomes Y plus X. Yes sir. If I assume this total side, it can be E, A, E, A. If I use this particular triangle, you will get E, A. Out of E, A, I need to get X, then I will get Y value. I mean, E, D value. E, D value is nothing but C. Make it simple. Okay, fine. If I use tan 30, come on, tan 30 degrees is equal to, tan 30 is nothing but, from this triangle, above side can be, 4,500 adjacent will be, X plus Y. Of course, E, A, equal, we can take E, A. Directly with E, A. Yes, side, tan 30 equal 4,500 above side by, uh, it can be E A. For your comfort only, we can deal the question according to logical approach also. But for, the, for this particular situation, I can deal with a basic approach. Don't confuse. To develop your knowledge, to develop your IQ, it will be a logical approach. Don't confuse. A tan 30 is nothing but 1 by 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3 is nothing but 4 by 0 by E A. Then what about E A value? E A, E A, don't confuse. E A is equal to uh, 4 5 double 0 into root 3. This is a basic story. What is this E A value? The total distance, right? But I don't want this total distance. I want only the E D. E D means we need to eliminate X value. Already we have X value as well, 4 5 double 0 root 3. Okay, then I can get the exact distance for the aeroplane in 30 seconds. That is B C. Clear cut story. To get B C, I need to subtract, I need to subtract this X value from E A. Yes or no? So E A value is what 4 5 double 0. I need to go for subtraction of X. That can be what B C. B C is nothing but B C is nothing but again E D only. Same. Opposite sides are equal, right? Don't confuse me. Fine. Uh, B C. Actually, this is a basic approach. Don't confuse me. Actually, we don't want this total subtraction. Story. We know logical approach also. But better to remember like this. Just practice purpose. Okay? Nice. Uh, B C is nothing but here. What is E A value? 4 5 double 0, right? 4 by double 0 root 3 minus, minus, uh, what is the question of DA? The question is what DA? DA value is nothing but X, X is nothing but 4 5 double 0 by root 3. 4 5 double 0 by root 3. This can be the exact distance travelled by the aeroplane in 30 seconds. That is nothing but BC. Clear cut story, right? Don't confuse. Right, okay, fine. Root 3 to root 3 will be 3. 3 and of course, 3, 3 into uh, 4,500 minus 500 will be 2 times of 4,500, it can be 9,000, 9, yes, 9,000, don't confuse, 9,000 by root 3, what is the reason behind it, root 3 into root 3 will give 3, 
3 into 4th and 500 is there minus 4th and 500. It will be 2 times of 4th and 500. Logically, we have 9,000 by root 3. What is this 9,000 by root 3? The exact distance covered by the aeroplane in 30 seconds. Nothing is there. Clear cut show you, right? Okay, fine. Now, I can go for the speed. Speed is nothing but? Speed is nothing but? Speed is nothing but distance by time. Yes or no? What is the distance we have? We have 9 by root 3. But I want speed. Speed is nothing but distance by distance by distance by time. 9,000 9, divided 9,000 root 3 by root 3 divided by 30 seconds, right? Of course, whenever root 3 into root 3 by root 3 will be the best solution. Rationalization according to 6 or 7, 8 or 9 plus plus story. Rationalization. Okay, root 3 into root 3 will give 3, right? 3. 3. And of course, 3 into what will have? 3. Of course, 3 into here will have. 3 is 300. So, 300 is nothing but 3, 31 is 3000. So, for 31 is 0, 0, then answer will be 100. Yes, logically. It can be very easy to calculate the other issue. The subject properly. 9000 root 3 by 30 seconds time. That will be meters per seconds. Meters per seconds. Right, answer can be what? 100 root 3 meters per seconds. Clear cut story. Answer can be what? 100 root 3 meters per second is the speed. Observe it. What is 9000 by root 3? The distance covered by the aeroplane. What is 30 seconds time? The travelling time will be 30 seconds, right? Why, why do you want time? I want speed of the aeroplane. To get the speed of the aeroplane, distance by time should be there. Whereas it is covering 100 root 3 meters in 30 seconds. That the speed can be what? 100 root 3 meters per second. This is a basic story. No confusion, right? I hope you are getting the uh, command at this particular subject. Okay, fine. No problem. Then how can you deal the question by logical approach? I don't know this total position. It is time wasting story, right? Yes, we can do in a logical approach also based on universal facts. Well, so how can you give the answer in proper way based on universal fact? Okay, are you ready? So very simple technique. Whenever you have tan 30, tan 30 will be opposite opposite side by adjacent. So what is tan 30 value? What is tan 30 value? BK value for what is tan 30? Tan 30 is nothing but 1 by root 3. Then what about tan 60 value? Tan 60 value can be root 3 by 1, of course. Look the same story behind. But in this we have to understand one point. The common side can be 4500, right? Common side, opposite side can be common. Opposite side can be common, yes or no. Okay, based on universal fact, the opposite side should be same. If I go for tan 30 ratio, tan 30 is nothing but, observe 1 is 2, 1 is 2, don't confuse, tan 30 is nothing but, 1 is 2 root 3. Opposite by adjacent. Then what about tan 60? Root 3 by 1. Root 3 is to 1. This is a basic story where. Yes or no? Is there any confusion? No confusion. 1 is to root 3 will be tan 30 value. Root 3 is to 1 will be tan 60 value. In this we have one common side. What is that common side? The common side is nothing but opposite side only, right? Means 1 and root 3. That's why we should have this particular value as equal. How can you equate them? Here will have root 3, here will have 1. That's why we need to multiply the root 3, right? If I multiply with the root 3, the opposite side can become equal. It may be sign the tan 30 or uh, tan 60. The opposite side can be same. That's why I need to equate this opposite side. That's it. That thing is there. If I equate it, what is the ratio will have? Don't confuse me. What will be the ratio? Root 3 into 1 will be root 3 is 2. Root 3 into root 3 will be 3. Clear cut story. Then what about this one? It will be same. Root 3 is to 1. The upside value can be tan 30 story. The downside can be tan 60 story. In this, if I observe tan 30 value, tan 30 value will be total side. Right? Opposite side means root 3 is nothing but total. Yes, sir. Um, opposite side will be for the Don't confuse. Don't confuse. Root 3 can be what? Opposite side. 3 can be adjacent side. Yes, sir. No. If I observe tan 30 story, tan 30, tan 30. Don't confuse. It will be tan 30. Tan 30 degrees. Okay. It will be tan 60 degrees. Are you comfortable? Root 3 can be opposite side of a particular triangle A, D, B. If it is tan 30, it will be total side triangle, right? A, E, C. Total triangle. Opposite side can be 4500. So then what about tan 60? It will be small triangle B, D, A. So if you observe the uh, situations uh, clearly, root 3, root 3 will be common. Yes, we got common opposite side. If I observe at the same side, very powerful story, single step story, don't confuse. 
within single step, you can within uh, within 20 or 30 seconds, you can crack the question for sure. I can find the I can find the exact distance covered by the aeroplane 30 seconds per sure. How opposite sides can be equal? Root 3, root 3, equal. This root 3 value is given as what? Root 3 value is given as 4500. Yes or no? Opposite side can be 4500. I need to go for the uh, three parts value. Three parts value can be entire at the same side. But I don't want entire at the same side. I want only this part. Like out of three parts, it will be one part, right? Out of three parts, it will be one part. That's why there should be subtracted to get the remaining part. Don't confuse. The total parts can be three. According to time that it will be one part, remaining will be two parts. I want this two parts length only. Clear cut story, don't confuse me. I want two parts to show distance. Okay, fine. Root 3 value 4,500, what is two parts value? I can get two parts value for sure. What is two parts value? Don't confuse. What is two parts value? Two parts value can be uh, 9,000 by, don't confuse, 9,000 by 9,000. Class multiplication, 9,000 by root 3. This is the exact distance covered by the aeroplane. Why are you taking only two parts? If I take three parts, entire time it should be taken. It will be three parts. I don't want three parts value. I want only two parts. Why? Because this will be the one remaining part, right? It is tan 60 value. Tan 60 value one part. Tan 30 will be three parts. Out of three parts, I need to eliminate one part. Lastly, I want two parts distance. I got distance. Again, what do you want? Speed, right? Distance by time. Distance in meters. I want time. By time means speed is nothing but distance by time 30. 30 means again it will crack, right? Of course, it should be into 3 by 3 again. Don't confuse. Into 3 by 3 means it will be 3 3 is a. I mean, root 3 square means so 3 3 that is a 90. 90 by 9000 by 90. 9000 by 90 is nothing but 9000 by 90 into, of course, root 3 will be there. 0 0 the answer. Save 100 root 3 meters per second. Same concept, same story. So it will be single step story, right? Don't confuse me. And this part, how you are connecting with the subject is very important. So based on universal fact, you place tan 30 opposite by adjacent. Tan 60 also opposite by adjacent. There will be a common side that is opposite side. That's why I need to go for opposite sides. We need to equate them. Yes, I have equated opposite side. After equating opposite side, I can go for the adjacent side. If I observe E, C, E, A, C, E, it will be tan 30 value. Tan 30 value is nothing but three parts. Understand it will be three parts. I don't want this entire three parts value. I want only this small part. According to tan 60, we can decide this one part value, right? Okay, out of three parts, I need to eliminate one part. Out of three parts, according to 30 degrees, three parts. I need to eliminate according to 60 degrees, one part line. Then I can get these two parts line. Clear cut story. Entire distance can be three parts. In that, according to tan 60, it will be one part. According to tan 30, it will be and total three parts remaining will be two parts. Clear cut story, two parts value. Two parts value can be what? Single step story, don't confuse. This is last approach based on universal fact. Anyway, uh, practice it very well. If you want to become SSCGL employee or banking employee uh, for offline classes, come to Ashok Nagar in Hyderabad.